All right, so I've read a bunch of books in the last three months and I wanted to share some with you that you might enjoy. And I wanted to start with Insomnia by Sarah Pinborough. Emma's mother was committed on her 40th birthday after suffering an extreme bout of insomnia and trying to smother Emma's little sister to death. As Emma's 40th birthday approaches, for the first time in her life, she has trouble sleeping. Regular sleep aids don't help, neither do stronger ones. Will Emma's fate mirror that of her mother's? I don't suffer from insomnia. That said, don't read this book right before bed. Uh, you'll lose sleep because you'll want to know what happens next and you won't be able to put it down. Your brain will ache when you finish this book, but in a good way, I promise. A Flicker in the Dark by Stacy Willingham. 20 years ago, Chloe's dad went to prison for the murder of six girls. She's mostly recovered and she's focusing her energy into helping other people. She should be on top of the world right now. But girls gone missing and another. And there's similarities to her father's crimes, similarities no one else should know. Growing up the child of a serial killer, Chloe has a difficult time holding on to this wonderful childhood memory. All of these wonderful memories are her father and this kind, attentive, gentle man he was, alongside all of these heinous crimes that he committed, including the murder of her childhood best friend. Well, a reporter doing a story about the 20th anniversary of the murders gets Chloe to consider the idea of a copycat. But who? Puppy break. Come here. Up. 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 Oh, you get to hang out with books all the time. You've got such a rough life. You gonna ooze on? Okay, come on. You gonna get the whole butt up? No. No. Oh, sort of. Okay. The Kaju Preservation Society by John Scalzi. Godzilla. Rodan, Mothra, they're all real. So these three were residents of an alternate Earth that were brought here because of nuclear accidents, tearing a bit of a rip between the two worlds. Governments have banded together to keep this secret and the semi-permanent gateway to their parallel universe secret. Because one thing we know is that humans tend to mess up everything they touch. That doesn't stop us from sending scientists over to study them because, you know, we're human. And did I mention we tend to mess everything up? Part adventure, part sci-fi, part James Bond supervillain origin story, part environmentalist plea, this book is something to appeal to everyone. This one is fun, funny, thought-provoking, and did I mention fun? Counterfeit by Kirsten Chen. Ava Wong hasn't seen Winnie Fang since she dropped out before the end of their first semester freshman year to return to China under mysterious circumstances. Back then, Winnie was awkward and Ava was the together one. But now, even though Ava has a law degree, a successful surgeon husband, and a wonderful little boy, she feels like a mess. Uh, she hates law. She hasn't even practiced since her child was born. She hardly ever gets to see her husband. And her son, who she adores, is simply struggling. She is at her wit's end. Just when she feels like her world is imploding, in walks Winnie. She's stylish, well-spoken, happy, and she's making her own money. That gorgeous bag on her arm, it's just as good as the original. Hardly anyone can tell the difference. In need of some extra cash, Ava finds herself sucked into both the glamorous and shady world of counterfeits. Will meeting up with Winnie again be the best or worst thing that ever happened to Ava? The interpersonal dynamics between Ava and Winnie is the heart of this book. You can empathize with both women, even when they're committing crime. Best part? The end. Am I going to give you a hint why? No. No, I am not. Throw this one in your bag and enjoy.